Hello guys, I'm Clark83 here. Another Gran Turismo video for you. It's Daily Race B. Starting from pole position with a 159.1. Not the best time. It's pole. See Tijni was in this lobby there. Great YouTuber Tijni. Great content. Great racer as well. So we're starting from pole, Suzuka. GR3. Supra. Mainly an MR trap. But I've gone for the FR. Let's see what we can do from Paul. Let's have a quick look, see how close they are. But it's the R8, you can't get a run on me down here. No chance, it's too slow. Especially when it gets into sixth gear. So you want a trail break lots around this turn one. Right along as early as you can. In fact, trail break, trail break a lot throughout the old circuit. These S is fantastic part of any race track. Just doing first. Tires getting warm now. Push. Decision he must be doing his daily race. Video. Starting from the back, his alt account. This is also my alt account, by the way, if anyone's wondering, up north, lad. It's quite a new account, to be honest. <clears throat> but it is still me, now Clark 83. Not supposed to rhyme, but it did. Dave still in our slipstream, four tanks behind in the R8. Keeping up nicely, we've gone a bit wide there. Trying to push to get away from his uh, slipstream. Don't want Tijni catching me up later on, no chance. So 130, yeah, I don't break for this, just down, down a gear. Don't need to break. It tends to scare the guy behind you when you do break. Try and cut it a bit more than that. You can take quite a bit out of that chicane to be honest. So 203.9 for lap one. Not bad. It should be in the 59s all the way through the race. 159s. For around an 8 minute finish time, 8.02, somewhere around there. Quite fast. Really tricky corner this one, I'm trying to get it right, but without going wide, as soon as you get a wheel on the outside there, there's nothing you can do, you're out. These Degners, super hard to get right, but really rewarding when you do. A bit wide there but not not wide enough to get dirty tires, so 52.6 set to there. Watch the uh, wheel spin on FR cars going out of there, it's, it's terrible to be fair. Trail break a lot for this one. I didn't do it too much there, but usually do. Oh, so we broke the slipstream to second place now. The slipstream is 0.750 nowadays. Anyone's wondering? Setting purples, but that's lap two. Everyone uh, sets purples. So now just trying to push, keep ahead of uh, second place, keep them out of the slipstream. <coughs> Also, I know how fast Tijni is, so I know he's going to be working his way through this pack. Let's try and keep ahead. 159.4, not, not too bad in the race. Since I'm, it's 159.1, is my qualifying time on, on this uh, account. So keep it smooth. 
how through these this is. Not really many turning points on that turn there. Just try and hug the apex as best you can. Don't want to be going too wide on this one, you want to stay in the centre of the track so you're all the way to the right for this left hander here. Carry as much speed as possible. Usually aiming for about 105 on the outside exit, the uh, apex going up the hill. That's in mile an hour. Close. Keeping the speed up with 10th down on our fastest lap there. A bit wide again on the hairpin. Kept it together. We've got about a two second gap now to P2, which is getting a bit more comfortable. Keep pushing on. I can see Tishney now in seventh position. A lot of traffic to get past in the last two laps. So how far we get. I'm not thinking about that right now, I'm just thinking about going for it as quick as I can. That's one, one thirty. Yeah, we're going to remember don't brake, just just uh, down down a gear. Carrying 146, 145, 46 round there. Through the chicanes. Tricky but more the exit that's tricky, going onto the grass there, getting wheel spin for the long right on to start the next lap, we usually lose a lot of time there. So another 59.4 on that lap, keeping consistent, it's always a good thing. Nice and tight to the apex, keeping it flowing through the S's. 2.7 second gap to second place, last lap. Centre, so further wide for us to slow up there, but just trying to get to the end of the race now. Since it's the last lap, breaking on the 50 there for Degna 1 and breaking on the curb for Degna 2. Look for the hairpin, you want to be looking at the right hand side on the ed end of the curb at the right hand side, that's your brake marker. Power. All the way up the hill, that's why I like the Supra, it's got a lot of guts coming up the hill. And you always want a three quarter shift this Supra, never take it past the uh, three quarter mark. Have to lose a bit of speed, and especially if you're on a fuel race, you'll be just burning fuel for no reason. Unless you've got plenty of fuel and you want to make your car lighter, then go for it all the way. Three second gap to second place. Point sailing from here. 130 yard to go. She came. I even braked on that then just to uh, make sure I got round okay. Because I was going slower, I can break a bit later for the chicane. Round the chicane for the final time. Comes out and take the win with an 802. Point four nine out. comes down in uh, fifth place, I believe. Not bad starting from the back. In the non meta car as well. And thanks for tuning in and watching this race beat. A little bit of a guide in there. Uh, please like and subscribe if you uh, liked it. I'll see you all on the next one. Bye.